former Prime Minister Imran Khan has given his party a go-ahead for a protest movement against the military regime in Pakistan. Speaking to reporters during one of his illegal jail trials inside the Adyala jail, Imran Khan said his party would withdraw an application for permission to hold a public gathering and instead hold a massive protest in Rawalpindi on Saturday. The military government in the country has used its administrative powers to deny Imran Khan's party their constitutional right to a political gathering. Imran Khan further said that he and his party would not negotiate with the military regime after it violated a previous agreement. Imran Khan, who's spending his 419th day in solitary confinement, repeated his call for appointment of the next Chief Justice in line with the Constitution. He said, and quote, there are only 30 days left and the Constitution mandates that the senior most judge be appointed. The Insaf Lawyers Forum, along with lawyers from bar associations across the country, will hold a protest outside of the Supreme Court on Friday the 27th. PTI's opposition leader in the National Assembly, Umar Ayyub Khan, announced the protest after he met with Imran Khan inside the Adala jail. The legal community in Pakistan has unanimously condemned the military regime's plan to amend the constitution. These amendments would legalize military trials for civilians and establish a new supra court, effectively undermining the authority of the Supreme Court of Pakistan. Pakistan's long-standing Kashmir cause was dealt a blow at the United Nations General Assembly this week when Turkish president made no mention of India's occupation of the region. For decades, Turkey, considered a brotherly nation, has diplomatically backed Pakistan's policy on Kashmir. Analysts blamed the unrepresentative military government's lethargic diplomacy, which has been focused on consolidating power internally through its fascist tactics. Mushahid Hussain Sayyid, a former senator, said, and quote, This is somewhat inexplicable. Perhaps it's because of mixed signals on Pakistan's part as influential sections of officialdom talked of a keenness for trade with India, which gave a message of unilateral desire for normalization with India while the brutal Indian occupation of Kashmir continues. The United Nations Secretary General has said all hell is breaking loose in Lebanon. These comments come amid occupational Israeli forces' lethal bombing campaign in Beirut targeting civilians. So far, over 500 people have been killed in the Israeli strikes. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has now threatened a ground invasion which could lead to a human catastrophe. Othman Mokbil, the CEO of an NGO, Action for Humanity, that operates in the region, said, and quote, We are calling on the U.S. and Western governments to do more to stop Gaza from being erased and Lebanon being dragged into a bloody war. For the sake of the entire region and for the sake of humanity, we need to hold all arms to Israel and bring about a ceasefire. Hell is breaking loose in Lebanon. As I told the General Assembly yesterday, we should all be alarmed by the escalation. Lebanon is at the brink. Of course, the blue line has seen tensions for years. But since October, exchange of fire have expanded in scope, depth, and intensity. Nearly 200,000 people within Lebanon and over 60,000 from northern Israel have fled their homes. Many lives have been lost. All these must stop. <laughs>